Before you load data into your target data source, you can enhance it for your needs in a process called data preparation, which features options allowing you to convert numeric codes into meaningful attributes, discard erroneous data, smooth ragged data out into manageable bins, and blend descriptive data from additional sources. You can also use data preparation calculations to create new fields. You can access data preparation options when you create a new data flow from the Applications page by clicking New and selecting Flow. Data sources added to a flow are represented by database-specific icons. If you're working with a lot of data in a flow, you can use the built-in data sampling option to get a better response time using a representative sample of the data by clicking Advanced on the ribbon, then selecting Enable Sampling. Hover over the file to see the sample size. Once you have enabled sampling, you can implement stratified sampling if you want to make sure that every unique value of selected fields is represented in the sample. Right-click the source for which you want a stratified sample and click Recreate Stratified Sampling. For example, if you select Start underscore Station underscore ID and move it to the right, then click Apply, every Start Station will be represented in the sample, even those with very few rides that may have been omitted from the representative sample. When you have a stratified sample, the node says Stratified Sample instead of Sample. All fields in a single segment data source or all fields from the top segment in a multi-segment data source are automatically added to the flow unless you deactivate this option in the Advanced Options dialog box. To edit the fields in a data flow, right-click the SQL object and select Edit. This opens the Metadata and Query panes where you can add or move fields in the data flow by dragging them into the appropriate categories. You can delete a field by right-clicking it and selecting Delete, or add all of the fields from a segment to a category by right-clicking the segment name and clicking Add to Query, and either Column or Order By. When you're done, a report of the field values opens. You can generate a distribution chart for each column in the flow to profile your data by clicking Show Profiling above the sample data on the Edit Selection pane or the Flow page. This will show the range of values for numeric and date fields or the count of unique values for character fields in a chart below the field name. You can use the options at the top of the chart to sort these fields by value or search for values in a column. Each field has a menu icon you can click to rename a field, replace a field with values derived from a calculation, add a new field with values derived from a calculation, or delete the field. In this example, we are using an SQL server file containing data that we downloaded from the daily ridership information publicly available from CityBike, from the URL shown on screen now. We will create a new field showing trip durations expressed in minutes. Open the menu for the trip duration column and select Replace with Expression, then click Advanced Expression. In the Add Detail Define Expression Calculator, Enter the name of your new field. After the trip duration text, add a division symbol and the number 60 to convert the hours to minutes. Click OK, then click OK again, and you will see a new field that displays trip duration in minutes. Now we will join a supplementary file from the URL shown on screen now that contains station zip codes and counties to our data by dragging it to the trip data file on the flow canvas. The join completes automatically. However, you can edit the join to change the join type and join expressions. Right-click the join object and click Join Editor. Information displays about the type of join, the number of fields included or excluded, and the data represented in those fields. You can also filter a field to restrict your data. We will limit our analysis to rides that start in Manhattan by filtering the county field. Click the bar for New York County, and the display will change to reflect your selection. Click the green check mark to include the selected rows. A filter card opens to confirm your choice. Click outside of it to close it. 
Now we can load our flow to a data store and create a business view. Click Targets on the sidebar and select New Target. Right-click on the target and select Load Options. Then enter the target DBMS application, synonym, and table name, and then click OK. You can also drag the new target or existing target icon to the right of the SQL object or drag a synonym from the Resources panel as an existing target. Finally, we can create a business view to categorize the columns into measures and dimensions. Right-click the target and select Edit Business View, and a default business view is created. When you're done modifying your data, click Run on the toolbar and your data will be loaded into the target data store. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.